<laughs> Goodbye, ladies. Have a good day. Well, at least you noticed there were two of them. <laughs> Couldn't agree with you more, sir. When I want your agreements, I'll ask for it. <laughs> anything we can use in the back. What'll we do if it rains like this in the day we shoot, Mr. Hummingbird? No, they're temporary. Temporary. When I'm ready to shoot, the rain will stop. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you see, temporary. The rain has stopped. <laughs> oh, good. Good job, yeah. The whole proposal scheme will play perfectly out here. Very good. Good morning. Good morning. Quiet! I'm thinking. I beg your pardon. Good morning. I am Oscar Hummingbird. Oscar Hummingbird? What is it? Quiet! <laughs> Oscar Hummingbird, the movie producer. Producer, director. I'm Agatha Morley. Your servant, madame. <laughs> And this is Miss Katie Holston. Delightful. How do you do? <laughs> Very well, thank you. These are my associates, Mr. Harrison Charles and Mr. Miles. May I come in? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful, wonderful. Perhaps another tree over there. What a magnificent home you have. Well, it is not my home. It belongs to Mr. Morley. I'm the governess. Ah, children. Are they the uh, bigger children or the tiny little tykes? <laughs> well, two boys in between. Charming age. <laughs> I am creating a picture. And I would like to use this house. You mean you're going to reconstruct this house in Hollywood? Madam, I never make pictures in Hollywood. Oh, you're going to do it right here, inside. No, right here, outside. Oh, on location. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really exciting. I never dreamed that anything like this would happen to us. And when I made a traveler, I was all over the world. It was authentic. Now I make a picture about politics. The congressman, I come to Washington, to this wonderful house. For a most important scene in my film, so that it will too be authentic. Oh, I'm so glad you're making the picture. I know it's in good hands. It's one of my favorite books. Oh, mine too. It's a wonderful book. 
Mm, that central character, John Carstairs, is so appealing. I couldn't agree with you more. Unfortunately, he dies just before the picture begins. But he's a hero. How is that possible? Mr. Miles, yeah, he is a very clever writer. Oh, he must be. Well, it wasn't exactly my idea. In fact, it broke my heart. You want to know the truth? I should think so. Killing off the hero. To fit the requirements of a big screen, Mrs. Morley. You must trust my judgment, my dear. When I first read this book, I said to myself, Oscar, be honest. Could anyone else really make this picture the way you could? I must admit, I had a point there. Well, you know, you know, Chief, now that it's come up again, maybe we ought to think about putting the hero back into the picture. Miles, we've had all this out before, and we agree. Well, no, I didn't agree. We agree. <laughs> so, I realized I had to make this picture out of respect for the book. And now, Mrs. Morley, I must have your help to be just, to be faithful to the spirit of the book. Authenticity. I insist on authenticity. <laughs> <laughs> but look, that is work. <laughs> oh, the boys will be so disappointed they did not get a chance to meet you. I wonder if you could leave your autograph. Oh, please. You would not want my autograph. <laughs> Oscar Hamming. It is an unusual name. Hmm. Yes, it is. That's not his real name. He's changed it. Oh? What is his real name? Hitler. <laughs> well, with two T's. <laughs> you know, it doesn't look good on a marquee. <laughs> you seems to realize the dreadful inconvenience this would be. Oh, Mr. Morley, it will be fun. It takes tons of equipment to make a movie. I know, but that's just what we're looking for, something different and exciting. Besides, it's just for one day. One day or one minute. I don't see why we should open our house to Oscar Hummingbird. Because he's a genius. I'm sure he'd be the first to admit it. <laughs> and he's a very charming gentleman. Hummingbird? This is Oscar Hummingbird? No, there could not possibly be two of them. Wait until you meet them. I already know, Mr. Hummingbird. You have met? Oh, we're on intimate terms. He called me a dumb cop. Dumb Dumb What did you do? I didn't do anything. As I pulled away from the curb this morning, he nearly ran into me. And then he called me. Well, I told him. What did you call him? I wasn't going to sink to name calling. I merely drove away. Well, that's not too bad. Oh, well, even if he'd known, I'm sure he'd come here. Of course, he is a sophisticated man. Certainly, he would not carry a grudge. Maybe he wouldn't, but I would. <laughs> Ken, this is not a time to be stodgy and picky. You. Well, I'm sorry, but I think it would be a mistake to let him in here, and I don't intend to do so. Now, you may tell Mr. Hummingbird that he does not have my permission. Dodgy. Pick of you. <laughs> Another dozen for you. What's that, Oscar? Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, they're beautiful. I only wish he had not called Mr. Morley Dunk. Yes, that was an unfortunate choice. <laughs> Expressive, but unfortunate. He's very disappointed when you tell him he can't use the house. I think I'll go up to my study. That is, if you don't mind being left alone here in the, uh, in the garden. <laughs> you will never guess what happened. I have a part in Oscar's picture. Oh, isn't it exciting? Yeah, very. Of course, it's just a small part, just for fun. <laughs> I'll bet. Oh, it's very charming, Mr. Murray. What is charming about Oscar Hummingbird? At least he knows where the florist is. 
Maybe I don't send all these flowers, but at least I do not go around calling people a dumb cough. <laughs> I don't know whether you, whether you got a part in a picture or won the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> Now, he will never let Oscar come here for the picture. Oh, we worry about that when the time comes. You really got a part. Oh, Oscar wrote it especially for me. Yeah. Oh, now, I have to rehearse. Would you please help me? Well, I'd love to. Now, I play not... I don't know if I can do it very well. Oh, well, it's very simple. Oscar says, just be yourself. <laughs> now, you play Montgomery. I don't know if Montgomery is exactly me. <laughs> My darling Nadia, I cannot live without you. <laughs> At the sight of you, my heart be pounds faster and faster. The blood turns in my veins. <laughs> Yo, oh it is wonderful to feel such joy. <laughs> Let's try it again. Good morning. Come on in, fellas. <laughs> in the morning. Will you please explain? Unless this is a particularly vivid nightmare. I didn't expect them to next week. I didn't expect them at all. Where is Hummingbird? Uh, Mr. Hummingbird is in the back setting up his camera. Well, Mr. Hummingbird can take his flowers and his camera. Yes. <laughs> Don't. I gave him permission. You what? Well, I meant to tell you, but I thought it'd still be time. Oh, fine. Anyway, it gives Katie a chance to have a bit of fun. Isn't every day a girl gets a chance to be in a movie? All right, whirl away. You're on. <laughs> want to be good, but uh, you are the other woman. And finally, emotion, passion, <laughs> overcomes you. <laughs> You're mine. Okay? Good. We'll try the scene. Mm. Katie, my darling. Nadia. I, I can no longer live without you, darling. At the sight of you, my heart pounds faster and faster until the blood turns in my veins. Do you understand? Yo, I, I think I'm beginning. You want to be good, but passion, emotion overcomes you. Yo, I want you to be good, and I will be good, and I'm sure you will no longer but, want me in your script. Darling, darling, business and pleasure are two separate things with me, darling. Well, I did not think that I would be subjected. But, to... darling, aren't we not mature, civilized people? Of course, I still want you in my picture. Well, if, if you're sure, I'll be ready in the morning. There's nothing to be nervous about. You come into the patio. You see him. You smile. He says his words. You say your words. <coughs> and we make <coughs> the picture. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Harvey, don't know what to do it. Oh, 
Oh, oh, no, 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 right over here. Right over here. No, no, right here. Right here. You'll like it right here. That's it. Take care of this man, fellow, will you? Mr. Morley. Well, Katie, it seems to me. No, I'm not, I'm not what you think I am. Uh, are you about to go on? Huh? Yeah. How, how was the re rehearsal? Well, it, it was not quite what ought to expect it, but once we understood the situation, it was fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, we're ready for you, Miss, uh, Miss, uh, we're ready for you. Well, I have to go now. Yeah, good luck. Oh, thank you. All right, everybody, quiet. <laughs> this is a tape. All right, Clarence. Quiet on the set. Quiet. This is a tape. Roll it. Scene ninety-seven A. Take one. Action. <laughs> Cut. Darling, that walk. It's all wrong. Do it again. Faster. And smile. to walk, not run, darling. Yo, but, but I thought you... You do not think on this set. You do as you're told, I think. We do the scene without the walk. Quiet on set. All right, Clarence. Quiet on set. Roll it. Scene 97A. Take three. Action. Night, my darling. I can no longer live without you. At the sight of you, my heart pounds faster and faster until the blood shines in my veins. Do you understand? Yeah, Montgomery. Cut! Yeah, Montgomery! Quiet! 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 Harvey, you were so good. Hmm? You had everything. You had passion, and you had fire. Well, very good. Good. And you were so very bad. And you were dull, and you were flat. But all I said was, you're Montgomery. Yeah, that is a bad line. I agree with you. Miles? How could you write such a stupid line? I didn't exactly write, yeah, Montgomery. It's out. We'll cut it. She's taking away all her lines. I don't understand. I think I do. It started with rehearsal last night. Certainly. <laughs> what can I do for you? You were right the first time, Hummingbird. I am a dumb cuff. I should have realized that you were only out to humiliate Miss Holstrom. Now, why should I do such a thing? Because you're a spoiled little boy who's used to getting his own way. I will not be called a little boy. And I must get on with my next scene. You don't seem to understand there's not going to be any next scene. Not in this house. You cannot be serious. I'm quite serious. You have had it. But... But I must shoot another scene now. Please, I must shoot another scene. There is one way. Yes, anything. What? 
A public apology to Miss Holstrom. Oh, Mr. Morley, that's not necessary. It is to me. Apology? Never! Never! <laughs> Let it be said that Oscar Hummingbird would not have made a mistake. I apologize. <laughs> Roses. No <Don't> consent. <laughs> Take five, everybody! Take five, everybody! I just feel so foolish. Oh, please don't. I'm sure there isn't a woman in the world who could resist the temptation to be a movie star. The only thing that saved me was I wasn't out. <laughs> <laughs> The boys have cleared out all the flowers. Almost. The boys? What did you threaten them with? A trip to the museum? <laughs> well, I think the Oscar Hummingbird Enterprise has worn off on them. I'll show you. Oh. <laughs> well, I'd say that rings down the curtain on the Oscar Hummingbird story. I couldn't think of a more appropriate ending. <laughs> Step right up. Get your real Hollywood flowers here. Keep. Yeah, yeah, Tonight at 8 Eastern, an outbreak of cattle raiding on Born Free. Then at 9, an exciting look at the issues and the events shaping our lives on the 700 Club. Now stay with us for the Patty Duke Show next on CBN.